Hi, this is Nick from Tilta. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hydra Arm Mini Modification Kit for the DJI Ronin 2. This kit includes a heavier duty shock absorbing head, a mount for the Ronin 2, two smaller support cables, and a stronger spring for the shock absorbing arm. First, you will need to attach the two support cables using only two sections of the arm. These cables connect in the same way as the original ones included with the Hydra Arm. Next, we'll look at how to swap the spring in the shock absorbing arm. To start, you'll need to use two Allen keys to remove four bolts. You can position the arm like this for easier access to these bolts. With one Allen key, you will need to hold one bolt in place while using a second Allen key to unscrew the other bolt from the opposite side. You can repeat this process for the other side. Once removed from the arm, the case for the spring will need to be set in its least tense position. You can adjust this by rotating the opposite ends until there's no threading visible. The silver element should be loose like this. Next, you can open up the case by removing these two screws with an Allen key. Once removed, the silver element can slide back into the case and the silver ring at the top can be pulled out by pushing down on the spring. The spring can then be removed and swapped for the one in the modification kit. You can then reattach the silver ring by holding down the spring and sliding the ring back into place. You can then return the silver element back to its original position and connect it to the ring by reattaching the two small screws. After that, you'll want to rotate the opposite ends of the spring case until the screw clearance holes are facing the same direction. Then you can reattach the spring case to the arm by aligning the spring case with the arm and securing it in place with those four bolts. You will need to hold one bolt in place while tightening from the other side. Next, you can mount the shock absorbing arm and secure it via four bolts before removing the original shock absorbing head by releasing the locking lever and holding the safety release button. Before we can swap the shock absorbing head, you will need to uninstall the included receiver by removing these four screws. Then you can position the Ronin 2 mount and secure it via these screws. Next, you can balance the arm the same as you would for a lighter gimbal. Adjust the vertical dampener until the gimbal drops smoothly back into its original position. The recommended payload when using this modification kit is 8 to 13 kilograms or 17 to 28 pounds. The same can be done with the horizontal adjustment and the exact settings you need may vary depending on factors like road condition and speed. Lastly, you'll want to ensure that roughly half of the silver element of the spring case is covered when the arm is fully engaged. You can adjust this by lifting the arm to its unengaged position and rotating the entire spring case which will slowly reveal more threading.
That was an overview on how to install the Hydra R Mini modification kit for the DJI Ronin 2. I'm Nick Fintilta. Thanks for watching.